I'm really stuffy right now, so I sound like I'm dying. But it's just my nose. I don't know why. I think it's like the world, the earth is just changing. Welcome back to my channel, it's Ava, if you don't already know. So I'm gonna be talking about kind of mental health and my journey and all the things that I kind of had to figure out for myself to improve my mental health. I kind of wanted to share this video for people, especially right now because people's mental health during this whole pandemic and I feel like people who are struggling right now have weak mental health and have no idea how to kind of fix it or kind of not fix it but kind of improve it and make them stronger especially during this time so I wanted to just come on here do a quick little video on my experience and share what's helped me so I have a little notebook right here to kind of just help me go through this video but um I want to start with my mental health journey I never really had mental health problems I think for me, mental health really came when it was like all about soccer. Like my mental health was more on me playing the game of soccer, um, having coaches telling me things that just they shouldn't be saying to a player. For example, I got cut from a team because a coach told me I was fat and I was asking him, what can I improve on? And the only thing he really told me was I need to lose two to three kilos, which is like six to seven pounds, which is a lot. I do acknowledge that I was a little bit bigger than what I should have been at the time, but I do think that there are moments where coaches should try to encourage instead of saying, oh, you're too fat, you need to lose weight, and then you would have made the team. Stuff like that should have been taken care of a lot better. Before that happened, I had a whole, I got an injury, which I've never been injured really bad like this before. So I dislocated my elbow and that kind of threw me off the scale. I had coaches saying that all I'm good at is running. I don't have any foot skills. Like I lose the ball every time I get it, I lose the ball. So it came to a point where one, I was out of shape and I couldn't perform how I usually perform. And two, every time I get the ball, I didn't want the ball. I want to give it away. I don't want it near me. I don't want it by me. And it just affected me for from 2017 or end of 2017 all the way till kind of beginning of 2020. Things just started building up. I started having coaches getting into my head or telling me things that just shouldn't, the way that it was told to me shouldn't have happened. So it kind of put me in a place where I wasn't in love with soccer. I wasn't in love with football the way I was when, when I played prior to my elbow injury. And I was just confused. I would cry all the time. I didn't understand why I couldn't play the way I should be playing. And I never was like that ever in my life. And I feel like now I feel I felt like I wanted to share this because I know there's a lot of players who go to Division One schools, Division Two schools to play soccer in college or even professionally and get told like you're too fat or you're not good enough. It's like why why put players down when there's so much potential there and they fell in love with the sport? It's not even just soccer, it's just other things. But I just wanted to share that little, that briefly because having to deal with mental health as a player, as, a, as an athlete, then as a human overall. But I think this also, like, this kind of can help people in a way where they kind of bring what my problems were as athlete to their everyday lives. And another thing I wanna say is that whole process has kind of changed me as a person. I went from being told I needed to lose two to three kilos to losing, which is like 
seven, eight pounds, six, seven, eight pounds, to me actually pushing myself. I became vegan. I became really crazy on fitness and running and lifting. Um, and I lost like 20 pounds summer of 2018 because I never wanted to feel like a coach had to tell me that I needed to lose weight ever again. So I lost like 20 pounds, but it was healthy. It wasn't like I didn't eat. I was starving myself. I was going crazy with exercise. I was going crazy with exercise, but it was for a purpose. It was to get my fitness up, which I did, it was to get my strength up, which I did, and it was to become a healthier athlete and make my body healthy overall, which I did. So with my mental health and everything, I wanted to find a way where I can express how I felt in a way where it wasn't like toxic or wasn't bad. So I'm gonna kind of read a few things that helped me. So like music, obviously music helps everyone in different ways, but for me, music helped me a lot. Getting in touch with like how people feel and how what they create in their music and their sound. Another thing is finding a new hobby for me. So a new hobby for me that I found that really helped me was photography and making videos like this. Well, this is a different type of video, but just having fun and kind of finding happiness in other things and kind of being more creative, which I think if you find a way to put your feelings out in a creative way, it helps you kind of calm your mind and step away from being the sadness and the depression and the anxiety. Um, another thing is poetry. I actually brought one of my books out. Um, this book is Eternal Sunshine by Londrell. There's a fly. This book right here. When you open it, you go through like the table contents, blah, 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 whatever. And the first, like right after table contents. So it says, a little light for those with the sunflower soul. When I look for a poem that kind of touches me for a day, that day, and then I kind of just try to go meditate and manifest the poem. Yoga and meditation. So yoga kind of and meditation go hand in hand together. I found meditation something really important to me where I kind of calm my brain in the morning and maybe before you go to sleep you can do it too but what I tend to do is listen to nature noises or be in silence or listen to um, kind of spoken words or certain types of poetry that helps you manifest and believe in yourself and kind of build strength within yourself. So I think meditation kind of helps you calm your brain and kind of just like, all right, this is what I need to do for today. Let me go day by day and let me just speak out or let me just feel like live in the moment kind of. And then yoga kind of just also is another way to help you calm yourself. Um, kind of make you feel like what's around you, uh, strengthen your body in a different type of way, not strength exercises, but more of calming and relaxing type of way. Oh, I'm cold. Um, oh, another thing, being with nature and kind of shutting off of this Western eyes type of world. So maybe if it is sitting in the park or um, kind of just, being with nature is you don't have to like for me i'm lucky i live literally next to a beach the beach is like 10 15 minutes away i can go on any hike i want to like i have that luxury of being able to be in touch with nature a little bit more for people who kind of live in a more like a city life or that are not able to reach nature another way to kind of be in touch with the earth and nature is what you can do is you can plant so I, what I started doing is I bought some succulents, which I almost killed one, but I kind of learned that you need to not water them once a week. You kind of need to do it a little bit less than that. That's one thing that I really think that's helpful, kind of having your plant. You can pick whatever plant you want, or I am also planting rosemary and Swiss chard, which is really hard because they were doing so well and then they just died on me and i'm just like what <laughs> so i'm kind of learning how to do that plants kind of symbolize growth and i think 
also it helps a lot is if you buy a plant and then you grow with your plant. So you take care of your plant, but also you're taking care of yourself inside. I thought it was kind of cool. When I started taking care of plants, it kind of helped me take care of myself as well. The last thing that I wanted to share, enjoy, you need to learn how to enjoy being with yourself. Once you build a better relationship with yourself, that's when you can build better relationships with the things that you love, with the people who you love, and then other people that you meet. The strong relationship that you have with yourself makes you have a strong relationship you have with other people and other things. I know some people, when they spend time with, they, with themselves, they actually kind of get into a dark hole or whatever, and they don't really know how to find their way out of it. So my recommendation is find something that you enjoy doing and you don't have to sit in a room and just be by yourself you know find something that you enjoy doing and kind of expand on that so for me one thing that i found that i enjoy doing is or something that i was interested in doing and started doing it and became more enjoyable to me was kind of art and drawing like i trust me like i'm the worst drawer ever but i started like i have my ipad and i would trace things on my ipad on like adobe art i would just trace stuff and to me i was like wow like imagine if i keep tracing and practicing like harder sketches and stuff like that i could be so good and before i never thought about doing that ever like i always saw people drawing and i'm like wow like they're so good i just can't do that so i shut myself off of that doing things that you want to do or that you're interested in or you wish you could do maybe practice those um, if it's not drawing maybe you like reading a good book or you want to get into reading more so just read something that you're you find interesting or maybe if it, you don't like reading you want to write something writing poetry or maybe stories or even how you feel like a journaling and adding maybe arts or writing songs or something maybe it's listening to music and kind of analyzing music uh, finding new hobbies like a new hobby that I found is I like running which I hated running from college I hated it like running to me oh my god I would never do it it's so painful but now I think once you find something and you fall in love with it then no matter how painful it was before when you find a love for it you kind of enjoy it more so for running I started running maybe I started doing five minutes at a time so we run for five minutes and I was done for the day then maybe the next day or the next couple of days I'd run for 10 minutes or maybe five minutes and then I'll do seven minutes and then I build up build up build up to now I can run four miles just like a skill it takes time to build so just like mental health and mental like and self-love you have to take time to build it things don't get solved immediately which is something that I think everyone wants to find that magical you know thing that fixes all their problems. Like that is so unrealistic. You have to build and push yourself to, oh, there's a spider on me. What was I saying? I had a whole brain fart, a whole brain fart. You need to find something that you enjoy doing and build on it. And once you build on things, that's when you get better. And same thing with yourself. Once you build things with yourself, you'll become your best friend. Like right now, I am my best friend. I could spend, I spend all the time, like every day with myself. I do like everything. Like I could literally spend my whole life by myself and I will be perfectly fine. And I feel like a lot of people can't even spend an hour with themselves. They have to go find somebody else to do things with. And I feel like, you need to learn how to heal yourself by yourself. Because once you do that, then you'll find true happiness. I hope that this is helpful. Thank you for watching and please subscribe if you wanna see more videos like this or other videos that I posted, travel, uh, well, when we get travel, um, fitness and kind of health overall, and kind of what I do with my life whatever if it can help you i don't even know what i'm saying anymore but um, i hope you enjoyed this video thank you so much for joining and um yeah bye